kelp. There are three large kelp species in New England. Saccharina latissima, or sugar kelp. Alaria esculenta, or wing kelp. and laminary and digitata, or horsetail kelp. All kelps have the same two-part life cycle, consisting of a large macroscopic sporophyte phase and a small microscopic gametophyte phase. The large sporophytes are made up of a holdfast, stipe, and main blade and produce reproductive sorus tissue when mature, usually in the fall and spring. Spores released from the sorus tissue are flagellated and motile, but quickly settle, attach, and germinate, forming the first cell of the gametophyte. Male and female gametophytes then develop separately into microscopic filaments. When mature, Female gametophytes produce eggs and attract spermatozoids from nearby males. Fertilized zygotes then develop into the large kelp plants. To culture young kelp in the nursery, spores are seeded onto string and gametophytes are cultured under controlled conditions until juvenile sporophytes are produced. The young sporophytes are then planted out in the sea on horizontal long lines. To obtain spores for seeding, reproductive source tissue is collected from adult kelp plants. Source tissue can be collected by diving or at low tide. Source tissue appears as a slightly raised, dark brown chocolate band on the blade of the kelp. After collection, source tissue should be trimmed and gently scraped with a flat edge. Tissue should then be repeatedly rinsed with sterilized seawater and wiped down with clean paper towels. After the cleansing process, the strips of source tissue are placed in layers of damp paper towels then in plastic bags and stored in a dark, cool place overnight. These are our prepared source tissue. They were prepared yesterday by the collector of the seaweed. Um, they have been rinsed and wiped and stored in damp paper towels overnight. And now we're going to open them up and submerge them in this sterilized seawater. You see the brown right there? That means it started to release already. Those are spores. And you can rip up the source into smaller pieces so that it's all totally submerged in the water. And then you're just going to cover it up, try to keep it away from bright light. A little bit of light is okay though. Spore release can occur anywhere from 5 minutes to 2 hours after re-immersion. A successful spore release will cloud the seawater. To determine the density of spores in the solution, a hemocytometer is loaded with a sample of the solution and spores are counted under a microscope. Spores are inoculated onto seed string, which is prepared by winding string around PVC tubes. These spools are placed in containers filled with sterilized seawater. After determining spore density of the solution, spools should be inoculated at about 3,000 to 5,000 spores per mil. The inoculation period is about 24 hours. During this time, spools are very gently aerated and held in 10 degrees Celsius seawater. After the inoculation period, spools are placed into culture tanks with sterile seawater enriched with half-strength Provisoli's enrichment media, low light, and gentle aeration. Kelp Culture System
There are three important components to a kelp culture system, tanks, temperature control, and lights. A two-tank system allows for easy weekly culture changes, and for temperature control, an aquarium chiller will keep seawater at the required 10 degrees Celsius. Aeration should also be provided to each tank. Light is provided horizontally through the sides of the tanks and can be mounted on walls or on movable racks. Light should be placed on timers for photoperiodic control. Cultures are changed weekly by transferring spools to a new tank with fresh, sterilized, enriched seawater. After about two or three weeks, developing gametophytes and juvenile sporophytes become apparent as a brown fuzz on the string. Spools can be outplanted when the young plants are approximately one to two millimeters in length. To outplant, a line is passed through the seed spool and the seed line is spooled off around the line as it passes through. Horizontal long lines are placed two meters deep and grown through the winter to late spring, early summer. 